Hello, precious one. I welcome you to Kenya Co Mathematics Classroom. On this platform, I'll be teaching elective mathematics and core mathematics. But in this, this particular episode, I'll be teaching you matrices and linear transformations. So we are going to look at matrices and linear transformations. And when we talk about matrices and linear transformation, a matrix in general is a rectangular array of numbers. And uh, when we consider the matrix, let's say A equals A, B, C, D. The nature of a matrix looks like a rectangle and that is why we say a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Now, when you are given a matrix, matrices are usually represented by capital letters. So we have matrix A equals A, B, C, D. The members in the matrix are what you call the elements. So the element of the matrix A are A, B, C, and D. Now on this episode, we'll be looking at the general idea of a matrix, and that's what you are looking at. You'll be looking at types of matrices, you'll look at the order of a matrix, you'll look at addition of matrices, then you also look at subtraction of matrices. So now in general, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, and the members in the matrix are what we call the elements. So this is the matrix A equals A, B, C, D. And the members of this matrix are A, B, C, and D. Now we we'll look at what we call the naming of a matrix. Naming of a matrix. How do we name a matrix? Because every matrix has a name. Now, when you are naming a matrix, we have what we call rules. And we also have what we call the columns. Now, let's consider the matrix. Let's assume we have matrix A equals A, B, C, D. Now, we are going to look at the number of rows and the number of columns. Now, this is what we call the rows. So, this is row 1 and this is row 2. And these are what we call the columns. So, we have column 1 and we have column 2. So, in all, you can see that we have two rows and we also have two columns. So, because the number of rows of this matrix is 2 and the number of columns is 2, then we see that this matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix. Now let's consider another example. Let's assume we have the matrix B equals we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Now if you have the matrix B, remember we said that a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. The members in the matrix are what you call the elements. So here the matrix B equals A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. These are what we call the elements. And now in naming this particular matrix, we will look at the number of rows because when you are naming a matrix, the number of rows will come first before the number of columns. And the number of rows here, we have row 1, then we have row 2, then we have row 3. Then we will look at the number of columns. So we have column 1, we have column 2, then we have column 3. So in all, this matrix we have three rows row one row two row three then we have three columns so this is a three by three matrix so in general that is how we name a matrix in general that's how we name a matrix now let's consider other examples let's consider other examples of naming a matrix now let's assume that we are giving the matrix a equals one, two, three, four, five, six. If this is the matrix you are given. In naming the matrix, you will look at the number of rows first before you look at the number of columns. So this we have row one, then we have row two. Then we look at the number of columns. So we have column one, we have column two, then we have column three. So in all we have two rows and we have three columns so when you are naming this matrix the matrix a is a two by three matrix don't forget that when you are naming a matrix the number of rows will come first before the number of columns so because the matrix a equals one two three four five six we have two rows then we have three columns so it's a two by three matrix it's a two by three matrix now let's consider another example Let's consider another example. Let's assume we have the matrix B equals. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, this is our matrix B. 
this is our mattress B and the element, the members of the mattress are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's what we call the element. In naming this mattress, you look at the number of rows before the number of columns. So, the number of rows here, we have row 1, we have row 2, then we have row 3, then we look at the number of columns, column 1, then we have column 2. So, in all, we have three rules we have two columns so when you are naming this matrix the number of rules will come first before the number of columns so the matrix b is a three by two matrix because the number of rules is three and the number of columns is two now when you get experience in this when you are given a matrix you don't need to rule out your rules and the columns you can just name a matrix straightforward so let's consider some examples here and see how best we can name the matrix we have the matrix a equals one two three four so when you look at this matrix it's a two by two matrix because the number of rows is two and the number of columns is two you can see that then if you are given the matrix b equals we have three two one four seven eight when you look at this so this is a two by two matrix uh, this one is a two by three matrix why is it a two by three matrix because the number of rows is two you can see that now if you are experiencing it you understand what i'm saying so we have two rows, then we have three columns. So this is a two by three matrix, and this is a two by two matrix. So let's consider another example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now when you look at this matrix, it's a three by three. You can see that you have three rows, one, two, three, then we have three columns. So this is a three by three matrix. So in general, that is what we, we call the naming of a matrix and that is how we name a matrix so when you are given any matrix remember that your number of rules will come first before the number of columns now we are going to look at some types of matrices we are going to look at some types of matrices uh, and the first type we are looking at is what you call the the null or the zero matrix when we say the null or the zero matrix is a matrix in which all the elements are is equal to zero so you can see that this matrix o equals zero 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 all the elements are is equal to zero so when you have a matrix behaving like this or looking like this then we call it the null or the zero matrix now we look at what we call the equal matrix and for equal matrices, two matrices are said to be equal if their corresponding entries are the same. Now, what do we mean by this? Let's assume we have the matrix A equals A, B, C, D. And we have the matrix B to be equal to E, F, G, H. These are two matrices. Matrix A is A, B, C, D. And matrix B is E, F, G, H. So these are two different matrices. These are two by two matrices. These are two by two matrices. For equal matrices, we are saying that two matrices are said to be equal if their corresponding entries are the same. So what do you mean by that? Don't forget that we are given the matrix A to be A, B, C, D and the matrix B to be E, F, G, H. So these two matrices are said to be equal if their corresponding entries are the same. That means that A equals b and the matrix a is a b c d the matrix b is e f g h so if only the matrix a equals b then to me the corresponding entries what do you mean by that the first element here is equal to the first element there then the second element here b is equal to the second element here then c equals g then D equals H, D equals H. So two matrices are said to be equal if only their corresponding entries are the same. Now, we'll look at, let's take an, an example about the equality of a matrix. Don't forget that we are looking at types of matrices. We first look at the null or zero matrix, and now we are looking at equal matrices. Let's assume that we have an example. The matrix A, we have X, we have three, we have two, we have Y. And the matrix B is equal to we have four, we have three, we have two, then we have seven. We are asked to find X and Y if only A equals B. 
So we are asked to find the values of x and y if only the matrix A is equal to the matrix B. Now we are talking about equality of a matrix. So these two matrices are said to be equal if only their corresponding entries are the same. Now we are given the condition that A equals B. We know that A equals x, 3, 2, y. And A equals B. B is 4, 3, 2, 7. So when you look at these two matrices, you realize that the, if the corresponding entries are the same because there is equality between the two matrices. So x will be equal to 4. You can see that 3 is 3 there. You can see that 2 is 2 here and y will be equal to 7. So when we compare, when we equate, we can say that x is equal to 4 and our y is equal to 7 because we have to equate the corresponding entries. So in general, that is what we mean by equal matrix. In general, that's what we mean by equal matrix. Now, the third type of matrix, the third type we have what we call the identity matrix. We have what you call the identity matrix. We have what you call the identity matrix. Now, with the identity matrix, we have uh, I equals, we have one, zero, zero, one. That is, we have ones along the principal diagonal. And this is a two by two identity matrix because we have two rows, two columns. Now, when we have one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, this is a 3 by 3 and this is a 2 by 2. So when you look at this, these are the matrices with ones along the principal diagonal. So you can see the nature. So you can also have a 4 by 4 identity matrix. And the symbol is I. So we have I, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. We have 0, 0, 1, 0. We have 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is a 4 by 4. You can see that we have four rules. And we have four columns so this is a four by four identity matrix so we also have that now we look at what we call a square matrix the fourth type we are looking at is what we call a square matrix and uh, a square matrix is a matrix in which the number of rows is equal to the number of columns so when you consider the matrix a two three four seven you realize that this one we have two rows then we have two columns and this is a two by two matrix so because the number of rows and the number of columns are the same then we say this is a square matrix when you look at the matrix b let's say one three four five six and seven this is a two by three matrix i guess by now you know how to name a matrix do you know why it is two because the number of rows is two and the reason why we have three here because the number of columns is three. Now you see that the number of rows is two and the number of columns is three. Because the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns, it means that this is not a square matrix. So in general, this is what we mean by a square matrix. So a square matrix is a matrix in which the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. So this one, because the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns, it is not a square matrix. So let's give another example of a square matrix we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so when you look at this this is a three by three matrix and because the number of rows is equal to the number of columns then we say that this is also a square matrix so in general these are the types of matrices we'll be considering now we are going to look at addition and subtraction of matrices how do we add matrices together and how do we subtract matrices? That's what we are going to look at. Now, we are looking at the addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction. Now, you know the general idea of a matrix. Now, you know how to name a matrix. And you know some of the types of matrices that we have. Now, we are going to look at addition and subtraction of matrices. Now, let's assume that we have the matrix A to be A, B, C, D, and we have the matrix B to be E, F, G, H. When we are adding A to B, that is matrix A plus matrix B, we have A, B, C, D here being added to matrix E, F, G, H. Now, with the addition of matrices, the corresponding entries are added together. The first element. A is added to the first element here. You leave a space. 
the second element is added to the second element here you close it 